I'm gonna have a little bit of this. You want some? I'm not being very helpful here, am I? This is so horrible. But it tastes like it's probably got some electrolyte in it. Boisson desaltorant. Punch au foui. Merci. Uh. Why? <laughs> you would never let a sea kayak. No, absolutely. Back. I uh, <laughs> well, you couldn't turn it that quickly. I uh, saw a great video a couple of days ago. There was a guy. His name's Terry, somebody or other. He's one of the instructors on the uh, paddling around sky trips. They call it Skyak. Skyak.com. And uh, he looks about the same age as me. He's got all the kids around him, he's teaching. And he decided that he was going to have a stand-up paddler. So he stood up in his sea kayak. And it was a really, like my blue one, pretty narrow. And he held his paddle at the end and he's doing SUP. But you could just see some little micro wobbles yeah. and he was definitely right on the edge of it. And then the hardest bit was getting back in the, in the cockpit. Very impressive. Well, one time I had my key solemn, which has a, a racing point on it. Yep. Possible, so it comes to a, a nice point. And we were on this river with this guy who's a great whitewater canoeist. So I just assumed that he had control of his boat. And there was a place where there was an awesome uh, 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 surfway where, like, you know, oh, yeah. three, three foot high. And I'm just like, oh, crank, crank. And I'm just hanging in there. And people are coming down, but there's room for them to go by on the side. So I'm just hanging into on the edge of the, oh, no. uh, the surfway as come by. And I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he thought for sure I'd get out of the way. But by the time I noticed that he was coming straight at me, uh, the move I made to try and get off was uh, probably the wrong move to make. Anyways, crack right through his uh, uh, beautiful whitewater canoe. Oh, so you went through him, he didn't go through you? Well, I, I, I'm stationary on a way. Yeah, he came always, down broadside on Oh, me. he was brought, you didn't mention the broadside, but right. okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, what happened? Did it actually destroy the boat? Uh, uh, well, it didn't destroy the boat, but a big, huge hole that he patched up with duct tape to get down the river. He's probably still paddling it. Yeah. Well, but, but we talked about it. <laughs> And I'm like, I just assumed that you'd go around me. He's like, I just assumed you'd get out of the way. And finally I said, you know what? I'll, I'll go half on the repair on it. <laughs> so he was happy with that. And what was the boat made of? Plastic? Well, like, technically, I, I probably didn't need to go uh, uh, half on the repair. But it would have strained our relationship. But not, not that he would have been mad at me. It just would have, like, you know, every time he sees me, he would remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that bugger who didn't pay my boat. Now, every time he sees me, we laugh about it. <laughs> And what was the boat made of this? Um, I'm not. No, I think it was a fiberglass canoe. That would. Uh, uh, that would. Canoe. Well, yeah. uh, which made it easier to patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Did you did you read that article I sent you about that French company who make all those boats? Oh wait. Uh, oh. Perhaps not. It was an article in Costco magazine. And. Sure you sent it to me. Yeah, yeah. I I put it into a PDF just to send to you. Um. Anyway, it's about this family in, in Quebec and how they started what is, you know, with pedalos and now is the world's largest um, uh, le leisure boats, leisure kayaks. Not stuff that you and I would use, but people who want to have a kayak at the cottage. And they make tens of thousands of these things every year. And they claim to have invented this process, the, you know, where you inject it and spin it. Uh, whether they have or not, I don't know. But it's impressive. It was third, fourth generation French uh, family. I love those. I love those yeah, French yeah. companies. They're really cool. Okay, my skeg is up.
Don't go in that breakout. You'll get covered in flies. Thousands of the bloody things. Absolutely thousands of them. be nice to be able to tighten up my footrest without having to undo the spray deck. It'd be nice to have a lever here. Bugger! Just missed it. I was watching some uh, some K1 in the Olympics. I was watching comparing the boys with the girls. And the boys are very fast and super, super fit. But because the girls don't have the strength, they're so delicate the way they pick up and they and you flip over and, and between the gates. So the girl would be like this, sitting on top of the wave. The guy would be going, whoa, but she'd just be sitting. I mean, going much slower, but much better look to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So through the pipes. <laughs> I've been through a pipe where I once had to go like that. But I don't think it was, I think it was bigger than that. Comes alive when you take the skeg up. Really nice. It's not a big difference, but just uh, that little extra.